start with the number five. Look in your Bible one more time. We looked at this uh, last week in lesson number one, I believe it was, when we was laying the introduction, but Ephesians 2, verse number 5. Ephesians 2, 5, of course, uh, I told y'all last week the number 5 is what got me curious and interested in studying numerology it was because there was a big debate on what the number 5 meant in the Bible. There was a, one group of preachers that I was friends with that was just so adamant that it meant uh, 5 was the number for grace that uh, they'd turn red in the face if they knew that you thought it thought it was something else. And then, uh, then I had a group of friend, friends that, you know, I knew that said, well, no, if I was a number for death, you'd have to be stupid to think it was anything else, you know. And, uh, or, or grace and death and grace and death. And I just I, I just got to be curious and interested. So I'm going to study them. And I believe Ephesians 2, 5 is the key to this. And uh, <coughs> that is that I believe the number 5 is the number for both death and grace. The Bible says, even when we were dead, fifth word in that verse is what? Dead. Uh, in sins hath quickened us together with Christ by what? Grace ye are saved. The fifteenth word in that verse, the five 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 word in that verse, is grace. And what we see is that the number five stands for both death and grace. 